Well, hello and welcome to this Markplex video. Uh, it, as you may be aware, what we uh, we do here at Markplex is create videos and uh, materials to help you learn TradeStation Easy Language, including a number of uh, free tutorials. This is actually not a tutorial. This is a program. Occasionally, I write some programs uh, or release some programs that I have written that um, may be useful for you. Uh, this is the unprotected code, and even though it is a program. I think if you uh, if you do decide to download it, which you can do for a uh, nominal fee, uh, you will find some of the things inside it very useful. Well, I hope so anyway. So what this is, similar to Tutorial 13 and Program 1, but in this particular case, what we're doing is rather than looking for pivots based on the turning points of the price action, what we're actually doing here is we're creating daily pivots, calculating those pivots, and then using those pivot values to compare with a an array which stores previous uh, daily pivot values. And if a new pivot happens to be within a user-defined value of an existing line in the array, then that line in the array has its thickness increased. And if that thickness goes over a user-defined amount, then the line is drawn to the right. So you can see here, looking at a 10-minute uh, British pound, US dollar chart, some of the, uh, the green lines, which are lines that have been compared with pivots from previous days. And uh, you can make your own mind up as to whether these lines do have any significance in terms of uh, resistance and support. Now, in terms of calculating the pivots, I've set an input here. So there are three different sorts of pivots that can be calculated. There are classic pivots, so-called woody pivots, and also Camarilla pivots. And just to show you briefly the uh, formulae that I've used there, classic, you can see pretty standard. The uh, pivot is calculated by high plus low plus close of the previous day divided by three. And then we calculate resistance one, two, three, and four. Woody, instead of just using high, low, and close, he actually uses high, low, and two opens. And then you can see Camarilla pivots calculated using these formulas here. Now, one thing that I have done uh, in the program is rather than uh, just using what you might consider the beginning or end of day to calculate open and close, uh, rather high and high or low, what I've done is created various inputs uh, that enable you to effectively specify what the start of the day will be or what the uh, start of yesterday, yesterday start time, yesterday end time. And then if we were using woody pivots, then we'd also need today start time. So they don't have to be the actual start time. For example, here I've got the start time as being the uh, zero 010 bar, which is the first bar of the day. And uh, remember, of course, that in TradeStation, the time of a bar is actually the end time of a bar. So that is the, uh, the first bar of the day. Uh, what you could do, for instance, is you could say, well, actually, I want to use the uh, the start time as being 0, 0800 hours, which, you know, could be relevant if you're using 24 hour data such as foreign exchange. Pivot types, uh, one is a classic, two is Woody and three is Camarilla. Uh, number of pivots. This is uh, telling us how many pivots to keep in the array. Now, if you've seen the program one video or looked at uh, tutorial 13, you'll know that uh, increasing the number of pivots is not necessarily a good thing because you can find yourself with maybe too many lines on the chart and then it's difficult to see the wood for the trees. Now combined val is extremely important because this is the tolerance by which we decide whether two lines are merged. If this value is, is too big then you might potentially be creating a very thick line that is really meaningless. If it's too small, then maybe no lines will ever get merged, so you won't get a feeling of which lines potentially have significance. Combined color, that is just the uh, the, the color of these big, uh, these, these combined value lines. Line sensitivity, this is the value. If we exceed this value, we extend the line to the right. Decimal places, this is the number of decimal places that we uh, put the values of the pivots. Uh, so in this case, I've got it set to four. We could set that as five. And then we've got two things here, draw pivots and combine lines. So for example, if we set combine lines oops, to false and say OK, then what we'll find is those lines are no longer there. But you can see the, 
the pivot lines here so um, these are using classic if we were to uh, again change the the inputs we could change that to pivot type 2 which would be the the woody pivots and just close and uh, you'll see some difference there and again we could go in and we could change to the uh, Camarilla pivots put that into 3 and say OK you can see quite different pivots using that method of calculation so I'm just going to change that back to a classic pivot calculation and just to mention this is designed for intrabar, intraday bars and uh, let's just see those and uh, I'm just going to put the the combined value lines back as well so if you're interested in downloading this please go to uh, markplex.com and uh, you can get the program there also if you're not on our email list then please also go to markplex.com that's m-a-r-k-p-l-e-x and join our email list and uh, I'll be very happy to let you know when I create new programs or free tutorials. Thank you very much.